Hello everyone, my name is Emily. And my name is Ashley, and today we are going to be discussing air barium distribution on an upper GI procedure and how to identify between a prone versus supine position. Throughout the video, you will see a replica that we created to demonstrate the human stomach and its different segments based on how the patient is lying on the x-ray table. Also, we have included actual x-ray images of a stomach taken during an upper GI procedure. Image number one is shown to describe the anatomy of the stomach and its different sections. These sections of the stomach are important to know in distinguishing how to identify the position of a patient in an upper GI procedure. In reference to image number one, the fundus is the most superior portion, the body is the middle portion, and the pylorus is the most inferior portion of the stomach that connects to the duodenum. In image number two, it is shown to describe how the stomach lies within the body. As you can see, the fundus, which is the most superior portion of the stomach, lies more posterior in the human body. The body is the portion of the stomach that lies more anterior. And finally, the pyloric portion of the stomach curves back around to connect to the duodenum, which is the first segment of the small intestines and lies more posterior as well. In the prone position, the barium is located more within the body since it lies more anterior in the pyloric portion of the stomach because it lies more inferior. Therefore, air would be located more in the fundus. The image of the individual lying on the x-ray table is in the prone position and their stomach is positioned similar to the images displayed. The x-ray images displayed here show exactly how the air barium distribution would look in an actual upper GI exam with the patient in the prone position. In the supine position, the barium is located more within the fundus portion of the stomach since it lies more posterior in the human body. Therefore, air would be located more in the body and pyloric portion of the stomach. The image of the individual lying on the x-ray table is in the supine position and their stomach is positioned similar to the images displayed. The x-ray images displayed here show exactly how the air barium distribution would look in an actual upper GI exam with a patient in the supine position. Image number one shows an individual demonstrated in a left posterior oblique position. The air barium distribution in an LPO position is very similar to that of a supine position. Image number two shows an individual demonstrated in a right anterior oblique position. The air barium distribution in an RAO position is very similar to that of a prone position. Well, this is the end of our upper GI presentation. We hope this video helped you to better understand how to identify air barium distribution in the human stomach. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching.